Understanding account types is critical to having your system run effectively. The account type is specific to the GL segment within the chart of accounts and determines the account's placement on the quick financial statements. In addition, some account types are designated as control accounts used by subsidiary ledgers such as accounts payable and accounts receivable. When creating a new GL account, it is very important to assign the correct account type since it cannot be changed at a later time. CSH Cash. This account type is used as a control account for cash transactions. Only CSH type accounts will be available for use in the bank reconciliation module. AR Accounts Receivable. The AR account type functions as a control account with a subsidiary ledger. This account type is used for the processing of customer activity, including invoices and payments. Reporting and analysis may be done at the summary or detail level along with customer aging and open balances. A journal voucher entry may not contain an AR type of account. All AR transactions must be processed through the Accounts Receivable module. This ensures that the AR control account and sub-ledger are in balance at all times. ARO, Accounts Receivable Other. This type of account is a non-control account. It allows the use of journal voucher entries for maintaining the receivable balances. These accounts are commonly used to track outstanding receivable balances without the detail in the system. No specific customers are needed. This account type is commonly used for summary balances from a membership system, donor system, medical billing system, or other systems that maintain the details of the outstanding balances. PLO – Pledges Receivable Other The PLO account type is a non-control account. It allows the use of journal voucher entries for maintaining the receivable balances. This account type is commonly used for summary balances with a fundraising system or other systems that accept pledges. IFR, Interfund Receivable. This is a special account type used for interfund offsets. These can be used to manually balance transactions between funds or to do so automatically when using account offsets. The sum of the Interfund Receivable or IFR accounts and the IFP or Interfund Payable accounts should always equal zero. The lender-borrower relationship should be a net of zero. FAO – Fixed Assets This is a special account type used in the Fixed Asset module. It is used for tracking and maintaining fixed assets in accumulated depreciation. OA – Other Assets This is a non-control account type used for assets types not already listed. These are used for items such as prepaids, investments, deposits, and various other items that do not fit into one of the specific account types.